Hello students, welcome to my channel. This video contains class 8 English Olympiad sample paper for the year 2022-23. to In this paper, you will be having 50 questions, the time duration of 1 hour. You will have 4 sections in this. The first one is word and structure knowledge. Second one is reading. Third one is spoken and written expression. And the last section is achiever section. The syllabus for four sections is given here. Just go through it. The last section in achiever section, you will have five questions, each carry three marks. The question will be in higher order thinking. Before going to the video, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. And let's move into the video. The first section is word and structure knowledge. Question number one. Choose the art pair. Annoy is to irritate. Comprehend is to understand. Spectator is to onlooker. And reserve is to supply. The right answer is it's option D. A reserve is to supply. Question number two. Direction two and three. Choose the correct option. Question number two. The thief walked away with the diamond crown on display. No one stopped him because he was Dash, the director of the museum. Options are contracting, impersonating, implanting, contradicting. The right answer is no one stopped him because he was impersonating the director of the museum. Question number three. The transmission of the president's speech remained dash interrupted. Options are miss, this, un, ill. The right answer is the transmission of the president's speech remained uninterrupted. So option C is the right answer. The next section is reading. Direction, question number 4 and 5. Read the following passage and answer the questions that follow. The greatest threat to life on earth today comes from global warming. This is caused due to multiple factors including human activity. It happens when greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, water vapor, nitrous oxides and methane trap heat and light from the sun in the earth's atmosphere which increases the overall temperature on earth. This impacts people, animals and plants. Many who cannot take the change die. Global warming is affecting many parts of the world, particularly sea coast. People living on island and in coastal areas are therefore at risk as the polar ice caps melt and sea levels rise. Question number 4. According to the passage, choose the statement that is false. Options are life on earth is threatened only by global warming. Global warming threatens human beings who live on island. When the overall temperature on earth rises, the sea level will also increases. Creatures which cannot adapt to higher temperatures will become extinct. So which is the false statement according to the passage? Yes. Life on, threat, life on earth is threatened only by global warming. Option A is the right answer. Question number 5. Many cannot take the change. Here, change refers to changes in options, lifestyle, food habits, temperature, health issues. So the right answer is many cannot take the change. Here the change refers to changes in changes in temperature. So it's option C is the right answer. Next section is spoken and written expression. Direction question number 6 and 7. Sentence 1 and 3 are given. Sentence 2 is missing. Choose the right sentence for sentence 2. Question number 6. Sona. Hey ma, I notice your tennis serve is much better these days. Hey ma replied that we need to find out. 
Sona again saying, your efforts have not been wasted. There is a remarkable improvement in your game. Options are, yes, I think I have finally mastered the technique, though it took months of practice. Option B, serving world is an art that can be mastered. Option C, I saw a doctor because I was suffering from tennis elbow. Option D, in tennis, one has to focus on one serving action. The right answer is, Sona says, Hema, I notice your tennis serve is much better these days. Hema replied that, yes, I think I have finally mastered the technique. So option A is the right answer. Question number 7. Mala says, I was looking for birthday present for my nephew, but I did not have much luck. Do you have any bright ideas? Juhi, that we need to find out. Mala says, I did think about it, but I felt I should take some trouble and choose something useful. Options are some music, maybe. Option B, one need not buy a present for everyone. Option C, you could just give him some money. Option D, buying a present is something that only the young enjoy. So the right answer is, Mala says, I was looking for a birthday present for my nephew, but I did not have much luck. Do you have any bright ideas? Juhi replies, you could just give him some money. Mala replies, yes, I did think about it, but I felt I should take some trouble and choose something useful. So, option C would be the right choice for the second sentence. Hence, option C is the right answer. Next, direction question number 8. Sentence 1 and 4 are given. Sentence 2 and 3 are missing. Choose two sentences that will complete the paragraph. Sentence 1. Today's world is full of zizoms, gizmos and gadgets unimaginable to people 30 years ago. Sentence 2 and 3 we need to find out. Sentence 4. However, keeping abreast of technology seems a difficult job by itself considering the pace at which new gadgets appear on the market. What would be this uh, sentence 2 and sentence 3? Yeah, it would be. Let's read the option first. The market scatter to this section and keep bringing out products that cater to their taste. Option E. Students and the youth like to keep abreast of technology. Then F. Who would have imagined a word, world of cell phones and iPods? So what would be the answer here? Yes. The sentence 2 would be its option D. Today's uh, market, today's world is full of gizmos and gadgets. is unimaginable to people 30 years ago. Next point is the market scatter to this section and keep bringing out products that cater to their taste. Next, who would have imagined a world of cell phones and iPods? So your answer is it's option A, D, F. Next section is its achiever section. Question number 9. Choose the word. Choose the word with the opposite meaning to the underlined word. The B is a very industrious creature. Options are hardworking, indolent, repulsive, and curious. The right answer is it's option B indolent. Question number 10. Choose the best option. If a business person is called munificent, he or C is dash. Options are prominent, miserly, generous, rich. The right answer is if a business person is called munificent, he or C is generous. Option C is the right answer for this question. Hope you all like this video. Thanks for watching.